Today, we're gonna teach you how to wear your socks and your shin pads like a pro. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's do this! Cristiano Ronaldo does it, Messi does it, and so does Neymar and, in fact, many other pro footballers wearing their socks in a very unique and iconic way. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at why they do it, how you can do it, and of course also some of the other things that professional footballers do with their socks and their shin pads to basically help you guys bring your sock and shin pad A game next time you go and play. Now going back to this special way of wearing your socks, like we see on CR7 and Messi and Neymar and in fact everyone else in this photo here, maybe you notice the small little white bottom part of their sock, which is in fact a separate individual sock that the players prefer for familiarity and consistency and most importantly of course for comfort. Now, these days, most match socks are of relatively high quality, but the players prefer to wear mostly their own socks in order to feel 100% comfortable. And whether that sock is slightly thicker, some players like that, or has compression elements or even grip elements on the bottom, it's something that the players use so they feel consistent. They know the socks and they know that they feel comfortable and good, no matter which kind of boot or sock they have to wear. Of course, the easy thing to do would just be to take your sock of preference and put it either under or over your match sock, but that also kind of defies the whole purpose of wearing a personal sock. So what most players do instead is to either cut off the foot of their match sock or simply acquire a footless sleeve like the one I'm wearing here. So they basically just put it over the sock and then they tape up the split between the two socks to make it look a little bit more like one a little bit like this. Now, of course, the easiest thing to do would be to go out and get a sleeve that's actually made for this so you don't have to buy socks and cut them up. But if you can't get your hands on a footless sleeve like this, cutting your socks isn't too difficult to do either. And if you want to cut your socks yourself, you have to take your match sock and then start cutting it around the ankle area, but in a spot where you don't have too many stitches or ribs or padding, because the trick here when cutting your socks is to make the cut as clean as possible, because the cleaner it is, the less the sock will start fraying, and the less it starts fraying, the longer it will simply last. So identify a target here, I'm gonna get rid of this whole ripped area, get off the foot, get a relatively clean cut. Once you've done this, you now have your custom homemade do-it-yourself sleeve. So here you're basically just gonna put on your sock of choice. You're gonna pull over your new DIY sleeve, just like we saw before. Wait. <laughs> DIY sleeve? DIY? Let's try that again. <laughs> your new DIY sleeve, just like we saw before. Then you're gonna slide in your shin pad put it well in place, like so. And then, once again, you're gonna tape up the split between your new sleeve and your sock, and actually also make sure that you can use the tape to keep your shin pad in place. And there we go, it might not be as clean as the other option, but it definitely works. Now then, of course, you also want to use tape as a pro. And in order to keep your socks sticking together, you can use two types of tape. There is normal sock tape, you know, the slim one with a lot of glue on it. And then you also have this type of tape called wrap. And if you've cut your socks, I would highly recommend that you use the wrap simply because it's a lot less sticky. So when you pull your tape off again, it's not gonna pull and destroy the socks as much as regular sock tape would because Actually, it's, it's really bad for your socks because there's so much glue on it. So when you pull it off and the sock is fraying a little bit, as you can see mine is, it's really gonna ruin a good pair of socks just like that. So unless you have a lot of money and want to cut a lot of socks, uh, uh, I recommend you use the wrap because it's a lot better. Now, of course, also, if you play on a high level, you want to try and match the color of your wrap to the color of your match socks, or the ref might simply come after you. But if that's not possible, I always try to match the color of my wrap with the color of my low-cut socks, and that actually has never really been a problem. Of course, there are thousands and thousands of pros and probably as many ways of wearing your socks in a personal way. But the whole wear your own sock concept is getting more and more common. 
But another thing is how you position your socks. And here you can, of course, go with the more classic, just below the knee kind of way, which I personally prefer. Or you can do like Obama Yang and a lot of other players, where you pull the sock over the knee, which does look insanely cool, but you also kind of need a little bit of flair to pull this off. Or you can go the total boss direction like Paolo Dybala and Thomas Müller and actually go with the low cut sock game. Now to do this, you basically put on your sock and your shin pad like you normally would. But then you take the top of the sock and you actually slide it underneath the inside of the shin pad. So it kind of goes on the inside, creating enough compression from the top of the sock to keep the sock and the shin pad in place and makes you look like a boss, Francesco Totti style. And uh, speaking of shin pads, there are probably as many options of wearing shin pads like we saw with the socks. But if you want to wear your shin pads like a pro, it's all about finding out which size and material you want. Now, personally, I like my shin pads to be on the larger side to make them really protective. And I also like them to be carbon fiber. But there are as many players out there who prefer to have slightly smaller, minimalistic shin pads because they don't really enjoy the feeling of wearing an actual shin pad. You can also go for the Gene Foam Pluses, which is basically just a sleeve with some foam on that you never really feel. But no matter which kind of shin pad you prefer, it's also a really good idea to find out how to make sure they stay in place. And here, of course, the whole taping solution we looked at before is very good. But you can also go the light guard route where they've made a match sock where you actually have a shin guard pocket. So you can actually take your shin pad and you can slide it inside the pocket. And because the sock also has a bit of compression to it, it makes sure that the sock stays in place without any tape needed. And it's also a nice sock with grip elements on, so there's some sense in that. And if you're a shin pad connoisseur like myself, they actually also give you the chance to actually mold the shin pad to the shape of your leg. And if you ask me, it doesn't get much more pro than that. And now that we're on the topic of protection, some players, myself included to be honest, also like to wear angle protection sleeves if they tend to get kicked a lot. And I don't know why, but it always happens to me when I play football. And while it's not the most Viking man-like thing in the world, it's just really good to have if you're sick and tired of your ankles being cut up every time you play football because jealous players and defenders kick you down. And if you're into that sort of thing and you want that to end, having a pair of hyper-strong protection sleeves is a very, very pro thing in my eyes too. So there you have it, my friends, how to wear your socks and your shin pads like a pro. But how do you do it and does it even matter to you? Well, as always, let us know in the comment section right down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on before you maybe go and shop all of your shin pads and sock needs from the world's best football store in the link right over there. And once you're done with all of that, you can go and learn some wicked skills in the cheeky playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.